guys, welcome back to another episode of Flint Hill Catfishing. This is Brian, and I did an intro out on the lake, but the darn wind was so bad, it was hard for me to find any angle. It was so shifty, coming from all directions, and it was just really, really hard to make it work. So, doing the intro here at the house, but stick with me. We're gonna put some fish on the boat today, and I apologize up front for the wind noise. I tried, but uh, hang in there. Let's go fishing. So I've been kind of fortunate, I'm close enough here on this point and the water is, I don't know how deep it is next to the, right off the point, but I've been catching some brim here. So put some more bait in the cooler, that's good. I didn't get it on video cause I was on a FaceTime call with another fishing buddy of mine, but it's always fun catching a channel cat on uh, something like this, you know. four pound test and one inch gulp minnows. I'm just using this for, uh, it's what I usually use for perch. There are two, uh, two gulp minnows or one inchers. I just hook them right through the nose. And I've got a kind of a jerry rig uh, weights there, but I usually put about half ounce on there and throw it out and it works pretty good. About an ounce to an ounce and a quarter if I'm uh, drifting on a boat or something, but this works pretty good here. Let's see if I can get another one. All right, so I'm anchored up. Uh, the wind has got kind of rough, so anchored up at the mouth of a creek and off the point that's kind of a little highway running out to the main channel. I'm in about 14 foot of water, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna sit here for a minute, see how things do. And if I'm getting bites in the next 30, 40 minutes, I'll, uh, I'll probably pull up and go anchor somewhere else. So stick around. We'll see if we can get a fish in the boat. Fish on. A little kitty fish. Came on some bluegill. Easy color, easy now, easy. He's trying to mess me up here. He's a little bit green. It's kind of shallow water here. All right, boy, that is a fat fish. Look at that sucker. Think he might have been eating a little bit of shad. Look at that. That old boy is fat now. He's probably only, I don't know, probably seven, eight pounds, maybe 10. He's pretty fat. That joker has been picking out. That little sore on him right there, if you can see that. A little lesion or something. Anyway, let's let him go, man. That's a good fish. Ready to go. Oh, and he wet me. <laughs> right on the camera. Got you back. Well, that was a good deal, folks. Man, I am drifting like crazy, brother. I came off anchor. Lord. I drifted probably 75 yards straight out towards the main channel. Let's get another bluegill on here. All right, fish on. I was dragging up to uh, the area I was going to fish over here. A nice blue. He caught me by surprise too. Fish 
this on, baby. That's a much nicer fish, y'all. He's not hooked real good, though. Get some fish grips in his mouth here. Oh, no. Come on, now. I got lucky on that one. He was actually swimming faster than my kayak was paddling. And I didn't even know I was hooked because he went the same direction. so far. So look, if everybody's scared of eating out of Lake Wiley or Catawba because of PCB levels and you know, the pollution that's happened over the years, I just, I wanna make this, you know, just a little statement. If you eat things like this when you're on the river or on the lake, little Debbie peanut butter bars or you know pretzel pieces you know uh, gas station food whatever it can't be worse for you to eat out of the river every once in a while than it is to eat this stuff from gas stations every once in a while I'm just saying could be wrong well gang I'm headed home that's a wrap uh, fished hard today got a couple fish wasn't killing it, but it was a fun day on the lake. I'm glad I got to go out. So thanks again for joining another episode of Flint Hill Catfishing. This is Brian. I'll catch you on the next one.